G'day, g'day. Welcome to another five-year reboot here on the channel. Today, I've decided to do Georgia Tech. Interestingly enough, I like using the team's actual playbooks now. So if Georgia Tech was an easy win for me, you got the triple options and stuff. So it's going to be really, really interesting, right? To see how this team does on sim. It's going to be also interesting to recruit quarterback, running back that are just all about option plays and all that stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. Scrambling quarterback the whole way. They are in the ACC. They are absolute dog shit. They're only 77 overall, which is probably one of the worst, if not the worst team in the ACC. So this is going to be crazy, man. Let's see what happens happens look at this guy damian williams he squats 665 mate i don't think i've ever seen that before that's kind of crazy and this is the first rebuild in a long time where a lot of the people on here and i'm talking like 18 of the 20 that we are currently scouting are interested in joining the school they're not just random people that are put on because i thought they look good these people are all interested like carl carlson 79 overall guard sean thomas is an 81 overall outside linebacker that's crazy i mean we are c plus to start out this dynasty that is so bad for an ACC team. All up to Crowey. This is like the first time that I don't need to do low lock cheese. You know, I mean, there's probably some good players in low lock cheese, but we're in the lead for everybody here. And it's just not beneficial to us at all. Like the only people we're behind are Carl Carlson and Sean Thomas. And I want both of them. So we're going to stick on both of them. Okay, we pick up some really good people. I like this strong safety, man. He was just chilling there. I'm almost certain there's a free safety as well. But that's some good people right there. And we're ranked number nine in the nation. We have not lost a game yet. I told you, just simulate with your team's playbook and it's guaranteed success so we have a lot of people to scout i'm hoping that one of them is going to be a quarterback that's all we desperately need right now they're all pretty bad athletes let's be honest but he's 78 oh that's a defensive end never mind uh this guy definitely is not a quarterback okay this guy is jeremy wilson not great but great speed and excel you know buck prince holy crap now he's a good quarterback too i i can already tell that you guys are gonna crucify me if we don't go buck prince that is absolutely amazing, mate. We just got four offensive linemen our very first year. I don't think we've ever done that before. We got locked out by the good linebacker, which really sucks. But we picked up a really good speedy receiver, cornerback, tight end. And that O-line pretty much is what I was after. So fantastic. Good stuff to us, mate. We finished 11 and 1. And our loss was, of course, to Georgia, who finished 7 and 5 and is still ranked. Man, we would have been in the natty if it weren't for that. Jeez. Oh my goodness, Jaden Hasselwood out of Oklahoma has decided to transfer. 81 overall freshman. <laughs> that is OP, my guy. I just want to point out as well that we did not get that Buck Prince guy, but we did get Jeremy Wilson, who was faster anyway, so he will be the quarterback for this Georgia Tech team going forward. We got the 26th best class. We're also up to a five-star prestige. That is massive because for such a bad team, we shouldn't have had a positive record, let alone gone up prestige. So that's going to help us a lot in season two. Five four-stars, seven three-stars, but a lot of those three-stars could have easily been four-stars, you know? Really, really good first year. Ah! Wait, we don't even need Jeremy Wilson. We have bloody James Graham. Oh, that's amazing. He's got 98 Excel, bro. Oh, that's OP. The second best person in the entire class has some general interest in us. That's really good. Five-star athlete, Russell Thompson. We've got a five-star tight end as well. Five-star receiver. I was just about to say that it looked really, really bad for us in this class, but there's six people in a row who are all above and beyond amazing. <laughs> just like that. That's crazy. Everybody on the board for this season has some interest in coming to Georgia Tech, which is going to be a huge relief for us. Makes my job incredibly easy. Thank you, EA. Oh my goodness. James Watson, the number one guy in the class, has 17% lock. We also have Chris Macklin, 83, who runs a 4-4-4, mate. And then at number nine, you have a five-star. Man, this class is crazy. We have to go scout these guys immediately and see what the update is. There's a Another five-star quarterback. I kind of like the one we have, though. I'd rather invest these in, like, cornerback and, you know, defensive end and all that stuff. But we'll check it out. All right, what's the update? How are we looking, though? Scott Peterson, 79. He's instantly getting it. I need the tackles, mate, above all. Cornerback, I'll take that. He's another cornerback slash quarterback. I need him. This guy's a really good quarterback as well, but... I don't know, he's a decent corner. I just, I'd rather go with the straight up cornerbacks, man. That's what we need. Okay, we pick up two quarterbacks and a right end. At least we have a lot of other people ready to visit. Cornerbacks in particular. We're one of five though. Big yikes. 
This is how I expected season one to go right here. There's so many five-star quarterbacks, you know, and they're all probably really good, but we don't need that. Which is annoying because in other runs, we desperately are looking for five-star quarterbacks and we can't find one to save our life, mate. What do I need? Woo! Now that's what I'm talking about. We got a lot of quarterbacks. I dropped five points on them. But cornerbacks, another offensive lineman. Wide receiver should be officially done. Cornerback as well. We just gotta get some maybe defensive ends and linebackers, I guess? We went 1-11. What the hell happened? When you signed here, we didn't think we would be having this conversation either, coach. Good luck at your next job. Okay, we got fired. Interesting. 12-2 and two to 1-11. and 11. Yikes. See, that's a big problem now because we might have players leaving and I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. So that could be a major setback to what has been a fantastic rebuild. Lucky for us, nobody has decided to leave by some BS homesick. We're good. Ooh, so something positive did come from getting fired and going 1-11. and This rebuild has had it all because we just got the number one class in the nation. Back down to a four star, obviously because of the terrible record. Three five stars, 11 four stars, six three stars, and a two star. We might be close to done recruiting for this one, boys. So the only thing we need realistically is maybe like one more O-line, but we'll probably try and grab a couple. One linebacker and some cornerbacks. There you go. There's a linebacker right there. I'll take a strong safety that could hopefully go to cornerback, defensive end. Two guards straight out the gate. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Two four-star linebackers. Okay. Five-star athlete. Let's hope this guy's a cornerback. That's all I need right now is cornerbacks. Everything else taking care of itself. Show me something I can use. Another athlete. Excellent. Another athlete and a cornerback. <laughs> okay. Might have a cornerback there. Might have another one. Yeah. Okay. You can still work. And Marcus Castillo, he definitely is not a cornerback. The furthest thing from a cornerback. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. We didn't even need this wide receiver. I thought he was a cornerback. Got a linebacker and a couple more O-linemen and a couple more cornerbacks. So right now we're chilling. I think that might be it for the season. We finished 6-6, six and six, which means we should not get fired. Fingers crossed. All right, if this is the most, like, we couldn't have done better season one, couldn't have done worse season two, and now we're literally breaking even in season three, mate. <laughs> This rebuild has been all kinds of crazy. And then you add on the fact that we got a number one class as well. Like, what? Ah, oh, what a shame. The 40 overall is transferring. Look at that. We literally lost nobody. Three people is the least amount of people I've ever seen leave due to graduation. All right, we're down to a three star, which is a problem. Somehow we managed to sign a top 10 class. If we dropped to a two, then trying to make the Natty season five almost becomes impossible, you know, because they don't take it seriously. So fingers crossed, Mark, especially in this tough ACC conference, man, we need a miracle. I literally almost forgot to redshirt players and my heart sunk. You know when you lose your phone for like that split second? Lucky there wasn't many seniors, but that just happened to me just then. I thought I messed the whole rebuild up. Lucky us, eh? So normally I would go out of my way to recruit in season four because I know it gives us a little bit more firepower in season five. If that makes any sense just on the depth chart. With this Georgia Tech rebuild, it literally just comes down to progression. We should be good enough without recruiting like user wise in season four. So I'm going to give that responsibility over to the computer. I know a lot of people don't like it, but there's nothing to add to this team. That wouldn't just be a waste of time. It, like, it would be a waste of time to do that ourselves, you know? So yeah, let's go. So in season four, we are A minus, A plus, and B plus, surprisingly. We're only going to go up from here. I thought we would have been B plus, to be completely honest, but that that's a lot of yellow on the screen. That's making me blind, but that's crazy to see that, considering we were like C plus in season three. So let's go ahead, simulate this bad boy, and see what happens. So, survey says... Oh, speaking of which, the computer did well, but overall, seven and five. Ew, that's a kind of cringe seven and five man you know we'll work through it we did have to reset our coach so they did set us a lot back with offensive and defensive coordinators next year will be baller though there's no excuse next year that we should not go at least 10 wins minimum so in season five we are a pluses across the board no surprises there is that a straight 99 it is 
excellent and we are running with that georgia tech offense let me just put that out because we did get fired we kind of had to start from ground zero but looking at the squad that we have for this final run 99 over a quarterback cannot wait to use this guy 99 excel 96 speed do you have any more 99s that we don't know about bro okay 91 throw power running back 90 88 so not fantastic but our fullback is an 85 which is kind of rare for these so that's good wait the fullback also has 99 excel wide receivers uh we had the guy from oklahoma who transferred Jaden Hazelwood he's up to a 96 91 89 87 respectively 89 tight end offensive line for this build is surprisingly good linebackers surprisingly are pretty good as well all close to 90 cornerbacks are really good free safety is an 89 and strong safety is a 92 bro so it pretty much comes down to RNG I'm hoping we do get a bowl game to see why we wouldn't let's jump into this bad boy I need that 12 and 0 give me something to work with all right computer did a good job assigning people okay 10 and 2, rank 5th in the nation. We somehow are not in. Ah, okay. North Carolina had the exact same record as us. We actually had a better points for and points against when you work it out. They had four more points and like a hundred and something less than us. So we should technically be first. So let's go check out where exactly we're going to be playing for this rebuild. Kind of felt a little bit ripped off. Russell Athletic Bowl. Not exactly where I was hoping to be, to be completely honest. We stay at fifth and we're taking on Notre Dame. Perfect because Notre Dame pissed me off in the Charleston Tech Dynasty. So I'm I'm happy with that fifth ranking looking at it we're both a plus we drop better stats almost everywhere the quarterback despite being a scrambler and running the georgia tech offense still passed for 3,000 yards 34 touchdowns and two picks on the rushing end justin davis rushed for a thousand 13 touchdowns the actual starter but less carries nearly at a thousand and nine touchdowns and the quarterback rushed for six 46 and seven touchdowns we had 41 touchdowns two picks and maybe like nearly 4,000 yards so i understand why he's not on the heisman list on the receiving end john washington 808 clint montgomery 753 hazelwood underperformed 638 and six touchdowns defensively pretty dang solid a lot of tfls not really a lot of sacks but like it was pretty well distributed amongst everybody with that being said we are ready to take on notre dame let's jump into this bad boy apparently it's week 256 in year 2017 that makes a lot of sense we lost to clemson and we lost to rank one unc man if we had knocked them off we probably would be in the natty Up against everybody else we did pretty good Oh my goodness, what is going on with that ref size? It looks scary as hell. Let's go Tails. We won. We'll play defense. Another thing I should point out is that I'm extremely reluctant to play the game. Only because, if you know anything about me, I do not do well in triple options at all. Or option offenses at all. So, I gotta hope that we just take a big commanding lead, pretty much. Come on, Georgia Tech, you got this, my guy. There we go. I like it. Alright, we're up big. Let's just see what we can do if we get out on the field. Okay, we dropped it. Awesome. Look how fast I am, man. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, we're driving down the field. I'm glad the computer is at least good at scrambling because I definitely ain't. There goes a touchdown. Mmm. Mmm, that's a nice return right there. 40 yards? Go Hazelwood. <laughs> Let's go, boys. That's GG right there. Why would you run slants with no timeouts and eight seconds left? Whatever. The important thing is Georgia Tech has won the Orange Bowl. I believe it's the Orange Bowl. We had a hell of a game from what I can tell. And I would call this reboot a success. We did end up 99, which is always the goal. So let's go check out how we did. On the passing end, 214 yards, two touchdowns. Pretty good for a scrambling quarterback. 70 yards for the fullback. 92 yards for the quarterback. The fullback had two touchdowns though. Receiving end, pretty decent. What you'd expect from a scrambling team. Nine pancakes, my goodness, bro. Seven and seven. And on the defensive end, everybody did the thing out there today. We had five TFLs, a sack. No picks, no turnovers, no forced fumbles, but... We did our thing, but if you made it this far into the rebuild, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome, and for me personally, I'm out. Peace.